So these nice uh, little Honda kickers, I got a 9.9, .9, uh, work wonderfully. The only little drawback that I've had is that there's no uh, trim uh, switch at the motor itself. And it's kind of a, a little bit more work than I'm happy to do at the end of a trip to get up there and be hitting the controls at the helm and adjusting all that up and down and getting it ready to trailer. So here's a, a little switch that's very easy to install. Anybody can do this and uh, makes life a joy again. Here's some of the items you're going to need. Uh, you're going to have to have uh, solder and a uh, soldering iron, uh, some uh, wire cutters, a little piece of strip wire uh, bear to test some stuff, some tape, electrical tape, some zip ties, um, I think it was 5 32nd uh, was the size of the uh, socket for the or the uh, octagon head uh, to remove the bolts at least on the Honda and a pair of uh, pliers of some sort and a utility knife uh, make it all very doable. And some liquid electrical tape is good. And uh, here's the switch that I used. Uh, Amazon product seems like it works pretty good. It has the correct wiring. I need to take the cowling off there on the port side to uh, get at these wires uh, effectively. There's a number of little uh, hex heads uh, bolts that uh, 532nd that come out. Here's the location, and then that little uh, gear that uh, locks down the lid has to be removed as well. Now that you have that cowling off, uh, that loom of wires that comes in from the helm will be a lot uh, more visible to you and exposed. Uh, it's right alongside a couple cables that go for the gear shift and the throttle. Uh, and then the sheathing opens up and you'll be able to see uh, the little snake of wires that uh, come in from the helm. Now on the Honda, uh, the wires that are involved with the trim uh, pump are uh, blue, green, and a white black in their wiring diagram. Uh, other motors uh, might be different colors. You need a wiring diagram just to isolate that and where the power source is coming from. And then uh, you need to expose those wires. So I'm not going to cut the wires. I'm just going to expose them uh, enough to make these contacts. And then I'm going to test it uh, with my little bare wire here to cross it as if it were a switch and then I can see that it's actuating the pump and I can see which color is involved with up and which color is uh, going to be involved with down just to test it in this case which was good because blue is supposed to be the up wire but it's the down wire on this motor so I don't know what happened there but good thing I checked. So time to hook up the switch. I got three wires from the uh, switch. Red is power, goes to my white, black, and then the blue and the green. I checked uh, with my multimeter to see uh, which uh, was activated by the up button, which was activated by the down button, and then I put them to the corresponding colors for up and down uh, that existed for the switch in the motor. And I'm gonna hey, test it here just test. to make sure I've got my hypothesis correct. Okay, so I'm not willing to cut these wires and put butt splices in. I'm going to uh, leave it the way I wrapped them together and I'm going to solder this connection. I feel that's a better connection. I'm not interrupting those uh, factory made up wires. That all continues. I'm just adding a switch to the relays that already exist. It's just another source of switching that uh, relay to activate. Uh, or those relays to activate. So a little bit of solder uh, on that if you want to practice on something else if you're not familiar with soldering but it's pretty simple. And get all that done. Uh, get the wires uh, with a good connection should be solid and then our next concern would be to make it as uh, airtight as possible. Okay, liquid electrical tape, seals and protects. I like to use the uh, liquid electric tape uh, coat uh, all of those 
uh, soldered connections with that and then uh, hit it with some regular electric tape to seal it all up as airtight as you can. I'll put a link uh, to that switch and where you get it on Amazon in the descriptions. So put it all back together for one final test and everything's looking good. I'm so happy that I finally did this. I uh, hope you have uh, easy success with it. Contact me if you have any questions. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe if you would on these videos because it makes a huge difference to me. And will keep me motivated to uh, keep producing these. And uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks.